up for today, I'm going to try and bypass my fuel filter, my main fuel filter housing, and just put this little cheap clear fuel filter, um, which probably isn't going to filter with the crap, but I'm not actually going to drive it around. I just want to hook it up and see if that fixes my morning start problem. Um, this is $10 from Amazon that has all different size uh, fuel line, I don't know what you want to call these nipples. Um, so I'm just going to put this on there and bypass that whole thing before I try and fix it or uh, try and replace it with something else. I think it's leaking. It's it's always seems to be wet down there. Um, yeah. Problem is, you know, there's a whole bunch of import ports on the thing, and I don't know which one exactly is leaking. And if I fix one, then another port might become a problem. So I don't know, but at least this will tell me if that's for sure my problem. So I'm gonna swap this in real quick. Got the uh, little temporary fuel filter installed. I don't really like these angles, but it's only temporary just to see if it fixes my problem. The thing I realize is these lines are so short that if I replace this with like a Raycor, these lines probably aren't going to be long enough. So, anyways, crank her up, get it primed up. That startup problem was the exact same problem. I'm gonna try and rev it some more to see if I can get that air bubble out. After revving it some, it's still not full of air. Look. I don't know. That's weird. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting that fuel filter to just fill up straight with with 
all fuel. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll, I guess we'll see.